What's up, everybody? It's Jason Gray 503 with Blood and Fire Country Club here on WGT. Today, we're going to be walking through the front nine of the Olympic Club, which is located in San Francisco, California. We're going to practice mode with low winds so we can see what's going on. There's only one set of pin locations, which is nice, easier for, for note taking. Uh, I guess we'll use a pass. Got a bunch saved up. Okay, so what do I know about the Olympic Club? Uh, you, it's tricky. You gotta be careful on certain holes uh, with the trees, they'll block your shot. So the trees in the right come into play. So depending on the wind, you definitely don't wanna hit these. So naturally, this is a 304, you know, carry type driver with full backspin. So naturally would get me down here safely. I'd play this over the trees and let it go left. Now I haven't tried it with this driver and this ball. So let's just try it real quick and see if it gets hung up on the trees or not. So I got through that time. That's nice. I'm gonna do a couple just to see because my note says it does come into play. I'm not so sure how often or if it actually does with this ball and this driver, but some of the holes it definitely will. And it also depends how far right you aim. Because think about if you have like a 20 mile an hour side wind, you might have to aim. Let's aim over here just to see if it hits the trees if I go that far right. Okay, that one hits the trees. So if you're aiming far right, it can hit the trees. Let's see again, just basic right. All right, so my note is trees come into play if you have to aim far right. If you barely aim into them, you're fine with full backspin. Okay, now what if what if you had a ton of lateral wind that pushed the ball right to left and you need to aim far right? Well, what I would do is I would aim a little bit right, like we've seen is safe. So we've seen aiming here is pretty safe, like middle of the tree. But let's say you're supposed to be aiming a lot more right. What you do is then you miss ding late. So I would go like maybe halfway into this box, like, oh, like not that late. Well, that made it through also. But that's what I would do is I would miss ding very late. It pushes the ball right. And uh, it will avoid that part of the tree, but it'll be fine. Okay, so. Thanks for hanging in there. It's good to explore these things. I, I encourage all of y'all to explore what works. You know, are the trees a bother or not? What spin do I need to use? Okay, so this is a long par four. We're in the middle of fairway, that's always nice. I have my juiced up three wood, which I don't like. I wish I was using my normal one, but it's okay. And my juiced up three wood goes about 268. It'd be nice to hit a ball that far in real life. Okay. It's about there. So look at the green, left is uphill, right is downhill. So if you land on the pin, that's interesting. It's uphill front of the green. So you definitely, don't want to miss short. All right, let's go right at it. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, I pulled it, so that should be a little short and left. Oh, long, whoa, this club's a beast. Well, let's hit that again. Oh, I did, I did miss with the wind, so that's not that unexpected, I suppose. Also, I think I might be playing a little too much headwind. We'll see. Okay, so way off, but behind the pin, let's take a look. Behind the pin, downhill, kind of a snaking putt or so. We don't want that one. Right, pin high or so. Not much movement, 
even, so right pin high is fine. So right pin high is fine, bottom right. Bottom right's a good putt. Um, let's see here. Coming in just a little bit. So I'm gonna put bottom right and right pin high. All right, so I guess that's pretty straightforward off the T. What are we doing here? This one, bar four, the fairway slopes right to left, so you don't want to land down here or probably roll into the rough. It's a narrow fairway. That's interesting. If we go 300 yards, rolling 120 away, I mean, ultra conservative could go a little shorter off, but who really plays a video game to be ultra conservative? Just hit it down the middle. All right, we got 124 uphill. Not much wind, of course. So 130. All right, so we see downhill right to left. So if you land right of the pin, especially with a shorter iron, it's gonna to feed to the left. If you land left of the pin, it might feed down the hill. If you land too short, it might be disaster. So I think going right at it with a little bit of air to the right of it is probably the way to go. Good thing I didn't make it. That would have ruined, uh, <laughs> ruined the practice. All right, so behind the pin, it's sloping. You don't want to be there. So the best putt's probably gonna be left pin high or bottom left, although you can't go too far down. I wanna check this though, I wanna see the release. So because this was uphill, it released a bit. So I'm gonna take note of that. Um, as, oh, so it's here, eight iron, full backspin. So pin high left, good butt. Pin high left is good. Oops, got the wrong iron. I want to just say eight iron. I was trying to go short, but I land on that apron. You can see right here, there's that slope in the beginning. You don't want to do that. But pin eye is fine. Let's go over here a bit. So this is bottom left. Bottom left is right to left uphill. Bottom middle, right to left uphill. Bottom right downhill. So let's see here. Left pin high is best putt. Bottom left is okay. So you want to go right at the pin, being bottom left. I mean, we can go right pin high, but you know it's going to be uh, a downhill putt, you know?
I guess right pin high is okay. I mean, we don't know about back behind it. It is going to be downhill, but it's a straight putt. Straight putt's a straight putt. But go right at the pin. Make sure you, while you're going at it, you allow for some release. All right. Two thirty one. So it's uphill before the pin, downhill behind it, and it falls off the right. This looks very tricky. All right, let's try 87% uh, since it's two step. And you missed to the right like that. It's a danger zone. This is a reasonable distance. All right, now I did name for the slight. Right to left. Oh, did this? Did I leave driver on? Bye bye, ball. Ay, ay, ay. Disaster. All right, let's see left side of the green. So I guess middle, top middle. Wow, look at that. Yeah, well, we did see that. It was there. So going along. It's actually fine. It's relatively straight, a little right to left. Oh my God, did I not change it again? Sorry, guys. Just giving away balls to WGT and wasting our time. All right. Switch your dang club. Pushed it right. Hopefully the wind will stop it. It will not, but we'll be able to see from the fringe what it looks like. Or we won't. So the pin is in the back. Oh, Lord. All right, here we go. So we're left, almost pin high, short pin high. So that's downhill, right to left. So you don't want to be doing that. This is all going to be downhill. Switch the three with thank you. So that is behind the pin. All right, I'm gonna put it now. So probably over here is the best put. So top right of the pin. Yeah, top right is good. Now the right all looks like good putts. Um, you just don't want to go in the bunker. That'd be a disaster. So let's say. Best putts equal past the pin and right. So on that hole, hit enough club to get there. Don't hit the wrong club like I was doing. Um, and being right would be fine. I don't know if these trees come into play, but you want to make sure you know your carry distance. Mine is 304, got a little tailwind. Can really push it up here if I needed to. 
you know, the fairway's down, so this will land about there. Let's see, if trees are gonna come into play. Oh, well, now it goes over the tree, no problem. So don't run out of fairway, that's, so look at that, did I run out of fairway? I didn't, okay, but almost did. So full backspin drive to get over the tree and to make sure when the ball hits a fairway, it kind of stays there. You see this fairway, it's sloped major left to right, um, and it's narrow. So know your carry distance with your full backspin driver so that you can aim appropriately and, uh, and make sure you know it goes left to right there. 94, 18, four, about 71% tail. It's about a, a 99 yard hit, which is around 95% of this club. So it's left to right, downhill below. So you don't want to be too short. You definitely don't want to be past the hole either. So kind of right at it, especially with a wedge like this. So let's see, 95%, does it do it? It is uphill and a little bit tail. So probably release a yard forward. So I'm gonna take off just a smidge. Pulled it, but maybe the left will kick it to the right. The left did kick it to the right, okay. And it did go for about a yard. So bottom left, left to right punt, a little neutral. I mean, if you're that close, it's not that hard. Let's keep it here. Let's go like this so that we end up kind of left or right of the pin from this. Well, now if you pull it like that. Hey guys. So uphill, but you know, considerable break. Let's go over here. So that's bottom right of the pin. Bottom right is uphill, not much break. This is almost pin high. Right pin high is uphill, a little more break. Let's go past the pin. You probably do not want to be past the pin. Yeah. So aim for bottom right putt. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I just wanted to try the bottom left putt. And the uh, just right of it. Sheesh, sheesh. Oh, give me, thank you. Get me out of here. All right, what do we got on this one? Uh, the trees come into play on the right, I believe. Punch shot is, is possible. It's a par four. You'll lose some distance doing that. Um, so first off, let's just play it straight up. It's kind of hard with these shadows too. You see here's rough. Rough comes into play pretty fast on both sides. If I was playing it straight up with no concern, I'd probably play it here. Let's see if it hits the trees. Yep. Okay, so you obviously don't want to do that because that is a disaster. Okay, so do not go right. Um, the question is, so what blocked it? It was kind of this tree here. So if you play along this line next to it, is it fine? Let's find out. So if I was playing with, with not much wind, probably here would be fine. Let's see if this is too dangerous. So did I get lucky there or is that normal? You do want to, you do want to get down there. It's kind of a far hole. You have some more room on the fairway there. 
So let's play safer if we went straight. What if we did this, took a little bit off. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, do not want to do that. All right, so what if we have to settle for here? 310 minus 20, 290. So what if we did like this? Ooh, yeah, that. <laughs> wow. All right, that tree is not our friend. Okay, what if we punch? Punch. We're going to try it in different ways. First off, full backspin. Carries for me. Ooh, 276. I was surprised by that. This is pretty safe play. Let's try that again. We have full backspin punch. Don't worry about that tree. 277, wow. So I think that's the way I'll go is the, the punch there. Let's try a punch with no backspin. See what happens there. Lower. No, oh, not so good on that line because because of the lack of backspin, it just goes low. All right, let's get it down there. The whole five punching down to be safe. Yeah, depending on the wind too, right? Like if the wind's left to right, we do different. But for here. What are we playing at? 207, down six, four, 97%. It's about 209, 98% of a three iron, give or take. Left is downhill, right is uphill. Let's check this out and see. Miss it to the left, see what that does. So pass the pin, top left pass the pin, downhill putt left to right probably. Ooh, hoo, hoo. you do not want that one. What happens when you go short? Short, it just sticks there because of the slope. So bottom middle is uphill right to left. So behind the pin kind of Top right of it, downhill sloper. Right, let's get on the green a bit. Or not. Nice one, Jay. All right, so bottom middle, not so good like we looked at before. Let's go bottom right. Uphill right to left. Right pin high is not so bad. I mean, it's downhill. 
go over here a bit. So left, almost pin high. Uphill, not that much break. Left pin eye is fine. No, I didn't progress much. Hmm. So be left on green, left pin high equal best putt. Uh, bottom left, second best. Ooh, that hurts. Is narrow fairways. So I think in your practice mode and preparing for this, besides the things we're going through, I think, you know, you could practice being in the, the rough a little bit, not that you want to, and you're going to be aiming to avoid it, of course. You might not be able to avoid it, right? So, uh, yeah. So some rough practice might be good. So right to left here, we go right at it. Landed, I think I came in. Trying to go short right, but then you push it there. It's not so good. Let's go left. So we've got bottom left is uphill. <clears throat> hmm. So bottom right is going to be right to left. <clears throat> I'll just go around it. So seven by five. Bottom right is uphill, right to left. Right. Pin eyes downhill kind of straight. Top left of the pin is uphill left to right. It's kind of similar to the last pin, right? So left pin high is a straight putt. Second best is bottom left. So you want to be left of it. Pin 12, 13.
Ooh, so it leaked out just a little bit, but. Ooh, look at this, look at it. 296, up 49, we got a wind of four, not affecting us too much. Need about 312 to get there. Hmm. Probably max driver like that. Two, four, okay, so left to right is the hill. So if you land left, I'll probably push it right a bit. So I could safely aim a little more left than I think. There's that slope there in the middle. So you wanna either land something that will roll over it or land something just above it that will stick. Try both approaches. This is, I'm going for the top tier, have it stick and or roll closer to the pin. Ooh, what was that? Tree blocking, well, I guess if you go that far right, the tree's blocking that. Where was that tree? Right here? Oh, bad shot by me then, huh? All right, let's go over here. Not even close. Which is a bit surprising. Be nice if I hit the ding. All right, so full backspin, land just before it rolls up the hill perfectly. Uh, 80% backspin. All right, so where are we? We're left, almost pin high, and it's a left to right putt, a little bit downhill. You don't want to go down there. Bottom middle's downhill. But I take it and it's go top right of the pin. Top right of the pin is uphill, a little bit of movement. The green does slip off to the right there though, so you don't want to miss too much. And this is a left pin high. This is behind pin high. No movement, it's downhill. I guess the left of pin is better, but you're gonna naturally aim for anyways because of the slope and everything else. So let's out though. Oh, oh. All right, all right, all right. So this round of World Cup, Blood and Fire, we've won half of our matches, I believe, with one or two to go. So we wanted to win all of them, of course. But uh, in that level of competition, to be able to win half the matches feels great. Mm, how's this one going to play?
So left pin high. Downhill left to right. Bottom right, downhill right to left. All right, so left pin high. Looks like the theme of this course is left of the pin. Right bottom left is the best. All right, ninth and final hole. Let's see here, I'm not sure I think the trees come to play. Ah, oh, they would if there was wind. So don't want to run out of fairway, 331. It's probably be fine. I'll try this. All right, we got uh, 134. What do you know? It's, <laughs> everything's sloping right to left, et cetera. Uphill a little bit. Maybe it releases a yard, maybe two. It stays where it's at. Came back a yard, but that's because I landed far. So above the pin, you don't want that one. You want to be left of it. It's funny, the other one was a boom boom. I guess this one's a little further, but it's probably a much better putt. Yeah, left pin high. Slight right to left. Yeah, bottom middle is not good. This doesn't look good either. And bottom right. Yeah. So left, left pin. All right, boys and girls, that's the front nine of the Olympic Club. Uh, the takeaways here is make sure you know the trees, take notes about which holes the trees are gonna come into effect and make sure you get into the fairway. Even if it means being a little conservative, having a little bit further approach shot, and then take note of the greens. Distance wise, at least the few hits we did, they all seem to play pretty well with the correct distance. However, 
most of them are sloped right to left. And if you're on that right side, there's a much harder putt or close to it. Left side, even some of them pin high, the putts look better. So front nine, be left of the pin usually, um, and make sure you avoid the trees off the tee. That'll be a disaster because you'll be far away and you'll be in the 40, 50 rough if you hit the trees. Um, and make sure you don't run out of fairway. So know your carry distance, measure it, take your time, you know, look, hey, okay, it's 340 carry, but 25 down, the wind is eight miles an hour. Is that gonna run out of fairway or not? Okay, so that's the front nine of Olympics. Stay tuned for the back nine.